Boys have been uh, preparing, training for this moment for nearly 12 months. And now, with one win in the bag, they put themselves to the test against a, a strong Tongan team. Referee for this game from the Solomon Islands, Ben Okwai. Assistant referees are Salanoa from Samoa and Kusunan from Papua New Guinea and Lachlan Kivas. Ready. Okwai will go in the middle and get things started. This is big. Final group match in the OFC Under 17 Championship. Delayed start because of uh, heavy rain in Suva. 44 goals have been scored so far in the OFC Championship and the Fijians who got well wishes from uh, the national women's captain Trina Davis who said to the boys to play your hearts out because she knows they win here they qualify for quarterfinals and then after the new draw and the new lineup of quarterfinal section, well, only time will tell which way and where they end up after that. HFC Bank Stadium, Suva, Fiji, looking in tip top shape. And uh, here we go. Ben Akwai of the Solomon Islands says, let's go. And it's the Fijians who uh, make the start straight away. OFC Under 17 Championship 2023 final group game in Suva. Tonga. Well, tactics will certainly matter. And uh, the team that masters the condition will certainly get the better of it. Here's the Fijian skipper, Naikar. Moving the ball well, Fiji. And the flag was up that time. Running out of space, Prashant Kumar. So we saw the goal yesterday inside the first minute from Vanuatu. Not today. Siosua Eteaki gets the ball up for his uh, skipper, Talia Uli. Naikar, skipper to skipper that time. Oh, that's a big one. Fijian boys will have to watch out for the strength and physicality that the Tongans will bring into this game. That's Talia Oli. Get out of my way. Final. Good work the time from Vinay Rao. Now, this is Ibrahim Afzal. Australia-based 
player. Raul, good skills. Now here's Afzal, who's waiting inside. Chance for Fiji. That was an opportunity. Now that will run away. Well, Fiji have two players overseas based. New Zealand, Auckland City youngster. Now this is uh, Australian based Avzap. Got it in. And uh, that was Jacob Sini Nawanawa who couldn't connect uh, that time. Free kick comes for Fiji. Fiji applying the pressure. The Tongan defense under siege. Heavy rain in Suva. So Fiji. Salimoni. Ravonokula got uh, foul that foul that time. Now Ibrahim Afzal, number ten, Leica Tigers, football club player, based in Australia. Afzal, set piece play Fiji. Siwa Moi Moi, the keeper of Tonga. He knows he's under pressure. Afzal straight into the wall. Still there, Afzal. Got a second bite at the cherry, but couldn't make that count. Came back for him. Rifling another shot. He'll be one man that Tonga will have to mark closely. Now Tonga get the first chance to move inside the Fijian territory. Losing position easily. Aaron Nikel. Nandi base player. Oh, beautiful skills that time from Prashant Kumar. But just a little bit too much. Now Fiji playing with some strength there. Getting a toe in the middle. Now Fiji. Rao. William Khan scored a goal in the opening game for Fiji. This is Bruno Kafoa, promoted to the starting side by Louis Muavesi, the coach of Tonga. Louis Muavesi played a lot of football here in Suva when uh, he was uh, in uh, Suva a long time ago. Also a national trekker. Uh, representative, Fijian uh, Czech representative uh, ran at the Pacific South Pacific Games 400 meters and 800 meters he's been living in Tonga for a long while he is heavily involved in the development of football in Tonga Mr. Louis Muavesi the coach of the Tongan under-17 side. Corner kick, Vinayk Rao. Right in front of the assistant referee for, from Papua New Guinea, Noah Kusunan. And it comes, and oh, the keeper was there, and it uh, fell for Jacob Seni Nawanawa. And uh, seventh minute goal. From Seni Nawanawa. And uh, he's running to uh, his bench that time. I thought he was running to Nandi. He's from Nandi. Seni Nawanawa 
Seventh minute goal. Fiji 1 0. Set piece corner kick from Vinay Rao. And uh, the keeper in the way. And then it fell straight for Jacob Seni Nawanawa. Playing his, starting his first game for Fiji in the OFC Under 17 Championship. And he's got his first goal in this championship. Tongan defends the time. Questions asked and Siu uh, Siwa Moi Moi, the Fahefa football club player in Tonga. Rao. Now, if you take the calculators out and uh, look at uh, the standings, which uh, I've got in front of me, if Fiji beats Tonga by 13 clear goals, Tonga will be uh, looking at uh, the next flight out of Nandi to Nukulofa, and American Samoa will squeeze into quarterfinals uh, lineup. Thirteen goals is a big ask. The largest margin in the OFC Under-17 Championship so far, recorded by New Zealand, 11-0 over American Samoa. That game was played in Bar. Thank you, Tassel Afzal, complaining to the referee, but. Uh, that was all legally done by Tonga. Elisoni Koro gets his first touch, collecting the ball from the back. Elisoni Koro, barman who played for Xavier College in the school's uh, inter-district championship in uh, Fiji. Played in the under 17 final and helped his uh, Xavier College win that and then rested for 15 minutes and then turned up for the under 19 side for Xavier College and they won that also. Xavier College made a clean sweep of uh, all trophies at the uh, secondary schools uh, inter district championship uh, in Fiji. And the Fijian goalkeeper played in two of those finals. Mr. Louis Muavesi, Tongan head coach. Now Fiji, win position. My Valenisao. Tonga. Get going on the left edge. Lovely through ball. Elisoni Koro. Close picture of Koro. He's partially blind in one eye, but I tell you what, I've seen the man play for his school team and now Fiji. He's brilliant in between the sticks and under that bar. Finai Rao. Ravonokula spreading that. Prashant Kumar, who's waiting inside. Oh, didn't fall well for uh, my Valenisao that time. Tonga, no. The Fijians missed that opportunity inside the box. 
Muy, muy. Talia Uli showing his power at the time, the captain of Tonga. Foot race and Fiji managing to get back. It will be a corner kick for Tonga as Tonga apply the pressure. Dylan Shankar giving away the corner and Puluno Kafoa steps up to the mark in the corner. Kafoa to deliver. Lot of white shirts in the back over there and they get the better of this one. No one up front. Philip Tai got that ball away. Fiji, good skills. Beautiful. Lovely turn, Ravonokola. Those long balls that Tonga are pushing over the Fijian defense is causing some trouble for the Fijians. Rain clears away. Viliami Finau is wearing 10 for Tonga. There's Kafoa, who's had some good touches already in this game. Seni Nawa Nawa, the goal scorer now, Avzal. Rao. Well, earlier on the day, some 12,000 crowd in that. Uh, women's uh, international friendly in uh, New Zealand where USA beat New Zealand four goals to nil and uh, the FIFA Women's World Cup will be uh, co-hosted uh, in Australia, New Zealand and that's something big to look forward to uh, this year as far as uh, the Oceania region is concerned plus on the Oceania Facebook page and website the uh, 2023 calendar was released today and boy it's a jam-packed year OFC Champions League the OFC Women's uh, Under-19 Championship later in June, July will be hosted in Fiji. The Beach uh, Championship, the Futsal Championship to be hosted in New Zealand among some of the uh, big events. And then the Pacific Games in Honiara, Solomon Islands in November starting in November and finishing off in um, the first weekend of December. So uh, that's something to look forward to for national teams. Nine teams started the OFC Under-17 Championship. Eight will make it into the quarterfinals and then after this weekend Saturday and Sunday four will make it into the semi-finals and next Wednesday right here at the HFC Bank Stadium those four will battle it out could through ball the time, Tonga tussling inside the box, 
penalty, uh, the free kick rather comes for Fiji. Good work in defence by Fiji. So, semi finals next Wednesday. And four dreams. will battle for two places in the World Cup. The winners in the semi-finals will be the qualifiers to the World Cup. And then the big final will be held on the following Saturday, also here in Suva. Ibrahim Afzal the Australian based Fijian player. Oh, that's a big hit from the back by uh, Sio Siwa Eteaki. Now, card. But the physicality of the Tongans. Coming to the forefront that time. Vinayak Rao, set-piece free kick for Fiji. Afzal is also there. He'll take that, curling straight into Moimoi, Moi, no trouble. Viliami Moli. with that long uh, attempt. Oh, that's good work by Afzal. Nah, it was outside. the way the Fijians move the ball and find players in spaces it shows that they've been together for a while and uh, they've trained well they didn't get uh, much game time but uh, towards the end of their preparation they played some uh, district teams in Fiji and they did quite well so great work by coach Sunil Kumar and the technical team Timo Jankowski and uh, Fijian national coach Fleming Seritslev Benyamino Matainangara is also with the, the Fijian coaching side. So that's the foul. Fiji get penalized. Tonga with the free kick. This is Taliaoli. <laughs> A little show with the dance and uh, well. good to see the Tongans you know they're, they're the friendly islanders of the Pacific and they bring it to this football pitch that, that's great that's the end of that shot from Sion Italia Oli after that little show off dance wonderful to watch At the end of group play, three teams 
will be at the top of their group with two wins each in group A, B and C and then three teams with one win and one loss and they'll be uh, the runner-up sides in A, B and C and two teams that will finish at the bottom of uh, their group with two losses out of two games will have the opportunity to get into quarterfinals uh, action and that's the business end of uh, the OFC Under-17 Championship. Halfway through the first half, Fleming Seritslev barking the orders to the Fijian side. Etiaki with the throw, Tonga. Somasi, Fiji in the middle. Prashant Kumar. Tonga got a substitute so change coming through for Tonga will be uh, Sione Tunga Fasi who's coming off so Tunga Fasi a famous name in New Zealand rugby here and uh, Tongan football. Tonga Fasi is off and Fainga Teo is the new man on. So, tactical change by Louis Muavesi coming in the 24th minute of play. Piliami <laughs> Manu Olevao couldn't uh, connect to that. Fiji, Afzal, Richard Swami, Richard Swami, New Zealand based player, plays for the Auckland uh, City, or oh, he played for the Auckland City under 17s last year. Now here's Holla, Alex Holla with the through ball, Elisoni Koro coming off his mark well. Fileami Finau, USA born player, playing at striker for Tonga. position and uh, directing play well. My Valenisao, good work by him. Seni Nawa Nawa. It's all about getting the job done this evening and then you get a couple of days off that's Thursday tomorrow and, and Friday and who knows what the new draw brings out because two quarterfinals to be played on Saturday and uh, Fiji and Tonga will be hoping that they get one more day rest so they can recover better and be here on Sunday. We'll only find it out at the end of this game. With the draw to take place later on. So the draw is scheduled to be at 10 p.m. Fiji time. Siwa Moi Moi takes all the time in the world 
and Tonga know that if they can keep Fiji at bay, as long as Fiji don't put past 13 goals, one down, a dozen to go. If they want to put Tonga on the Fiji Airways flight to Nukualofa. Tussle in the middle. Seni Nawanawa. Clipped by Ulofala Sonasi. Dylan Shankar. Tonga climbing up high that time. Good work. Now they race away. Sonasi. Tonga got some space there. Koro. Good work. That was a good piece of play by Tonga. Just couldn't execute that pass perfectly. William Ifinal. Otherwise, that could have been trouble for Fiji. Wonderful work. And Finau looking for Alex Holler. Just half a meter ahead with the strength of that pass. Eteaki. Oh, Finau doing very well for Tonga. And Tonga, for a change, applying the pressure on the Fiji uh, goal mouth. Vainga Till, the new man who's gone on for Tonga, had a crack. Fiji. Tonga look like that they have settled in now with the nearly half an hour of play gone. Building in confidence with just the goal against them. That will certainly fire them up knowing that uh, Fiji is tactically superior than the Tongans. And that shows with the, the domination in territory and possession that the Fijians have enjoyed for 30 minutes. Now Tonga. Throw ball in there for Manu Olebao. He couldn't uh, get up to that. Fiji getting back. Seni Nawa Nawa, the goal scorer. to see some Fijian fans uh, supporting the home side and we would have seen uh, support for uh, Pacific sides also only if the university was uh, going on but uh, they're on holiday at the moment otherwise uh, it's always good to see our Pacific students who attend uh, the University of the South Pacific or the Fiji National University, they uh, always come out to support uh, their home country, whichever one that they support or where they are from when uh, they uh, play in uh, any international match in Suva or anywhere in the country. Oh, through ball that time, cut off by Fiji. But Tonga now keeping the pressure on. Good work by Tonga. Finau, well, couldn't find the space, but now they get it again. Sonasi, still Tonga. Inside the box it comes, a little bit casual that time. Manuel Leval. Well, Tonga. Probably the best piece of play by Tonga that time. Finau, Manu Olevao, and 
Richard Swami, Auckland City player in the Fijian side. Swami with a touch again, gets the free kick for Fiji. Challenge. Sunil Kumar, head coach of Fiji. In the build up to this game, he uh, said that he was uh, on the lookout for uh, a physical game from Tonga. But the skills of the Fijians, having them in front of that at the moment, Abzal. Well, just outside the box that time, free kick for Fiji. Handy position. Ibrahim Abzal. Got away from Etiaki. Puluno Kafor. Didn't let him get past. Him. Sit peace. Free kick VG. Shankar to take it. Tonga with the Three men wall. Where will this go? Fijians in the middle. And they uh, put it too hard. Too much power in that. Pong battle that time. Tonga win the throw. Eteaki just in front of his coach, Muavesi. Fiji of the top set is now an hour that time now. Prashant Kumar. Tonga win that away. Tonga apply the pressure. Shankar got the better of that at the back. Now it's Afzal. Ravonokula. Still Ravonokula. Rao. One touch pass works on the left edge for Fiji. Naro, who's waiting inside. Oh, unlucky. And uh, lucky for Moi Moi. Fiji. Just one goal in this. Came after seven minutes. Seni Nawa Nawa. Getting up. Ooh. Alex Holler. Gives away the free kick and the goalkeeper is up there to take the free kick. Coral. He wants to get involved in some action. Afzal worked infield the wrong way and Tonga got that ball away from him easy. Good touch by Finau. Not the pass. Vili T. 
Thai, Manu Olevao, Tonga. Oh, good work by Hola. Here come Tonga. The through ball is good. Manu Olevao. Oh, that uh, seemed like it had gone over the goal line. Heavy rain again in Suva. Inter-District Championship last year in Suva and uh, semi-finals uh, action was played in conditions like this this is heavy rain during semi-finals action in the IDC Fiji playing it through the club. That was the captain, Aaron Nyker. About six minutes of normal time remaining. Just one goal in this one. It's good touch. Oh, Tonga managed to take that away. Final. A little bit too much power in that. Uh, from Final, Koro. Ravonokula, but once again, Tonga coming through there. And that was uh, Sio Siwa Eteaki. And he gets the yellow card for that uh, challenge. Uh, that, that is uh, a yellow card to, uh, sorry, that's a yellow card to uh, Salimone. Ravonokula. So, Ravonokula Fiji gets a yellow card for uh, that uh, foul on Sio Siwa Eteaki. Moving it back in. Rao. William Khan. Shankar. Swam. Naikar, the captain. Naikar gets it again, turns it in field. Tonga coming in the way. Clash of bodies there. Another sliding tackle, and uh, the referee was playing advantage, so uh, we'll go back for Tonga free kick. Some of the Fijian boys will look at that. That was. Uh, 
the free kick that Tonga won. Some of those Fijian boys will certainly need uh, some extra work with the physiotherapist. What a shot, Tonga! Edison Koro had his gold mouth covered, but uh, Tonga certainly applying the pressure. Wonderful work that time. The control with the left foot. Rolling the ball to the right foot and then unleashing that powerful shot. Rao for Fiji. Less than 90 seconds to play, normal time. <laughs> Eteaki tried to make the run and gain some territory with the run. <laughs> Referee tells him, go back, mate. No free territory here. That's all fun and games. In the reign of Suva in the final group game of the OFC Under-17 Championship. And if, it's, if, and if it stays 1-0, Fiji will top the group. And Tonga will qualify with Samoa. So all three teams from this Group A will be in quarterfinals footy. Fiji is the number one side, Samoa as the number two side, and Tonga as the number three side. So foul coming from Maloni Manu Oleval. Free kick to Fiji. Opportunity that time, Roshan Kumar. So, one more minute to play. That's added time. That's the end of time that comes through now. So Tonga would be happy to have just conceded one goal in this first half. Eteaki has had a big game in defence. Now pushes a big ball up forward and uh, free kick goes against the Kafor. In the run. And uh, Rao, the defender for Fiji, tried to shield the ball away. And Kafor was not taking anything. Koro, the keeper. Difficult to move the ball that time, but Fiji, Afzal. Still Afzal. That is, uh, sorry, uh, my Valenisal. My Valenisal. And uh, uh, that was uh, Ulafala Sonasi who went in with the challenge. And then Mai Valenisao coming in with a shoulder charge. So it's all happening right at the end of the first half. Referee 
Bulldogs got the yellow card out. Ah, oh, yellow and red. So, Salimone Ravonokula, second yellow card. And he is out of this game. Fiji will now play with 10 players. Salimone Ravonokula, second yellow card. And he has got his marching orders. Tonga. Red card for Fiji's at number nine, Salimone Ravonokula. Well, that's half time here in this one. High drama at the end of the first half with Fiji. Ravonokula getting a red card. The seventh minute goal from Jacob Sini Nawanawa is the difference. It's Fiji that leads Tonga at half time in this OFC Under 17 Championship match. It's Fiji 1, Tonga 0.
SVG that leads Tonga one goal to nil. Seventh minute goal to Jacob Sini Nawanawa. Well, rain delayed game, and uh, it was Fiji that caught the fire burning early. And this is where they came through, and Jacob Sini Nawanawa, the Nandi boy, getting the goal. What a story for the goal scorer. For the last eight years, he couldn't afford a pair of soccer boots, and he is the hero in the first half for the Fijian side. But then the Tongans came back and they settled in well and they applied the pressure. But they couldn't execute well. Few opportunities coming both ways. Tonga trying hard in the reign of Suva. And this is where well, there's a couple of players going in with uh, their shoulder there. And a double yellow card and a red card for Salimone Ravonokula. And Fiji will play the whole of the second half with 10 players. Uh, let's look at uh, the states. Four shots on target, Fiji two more than Tonga but look at the fouls 10 fouls from Tonga this has been quite high 16 in total Fiji with one red card so let's see what Tonga can do in the second half the advantage of one extra man So Fiji at halftime will make some changes. So Fiji goal scorer Jacob Sini Nawanawa is off the field of play. And Velikesa Vosanganga will go in. Dylan Shankar is off. Isimeli Gavindi will go in for Fiji and out also Petro Mai Valenisao and Fiji uh, they've uh, I'll have to get that organized so whether Mai Valenisao is off or Jacob Seninawanawa Velikesa Vosanganga is in I think Jacob Seninawanawa so let's pick the substitutions which will be shown now. So we've got uh, first one, Jacob Sininawanawa, the goal scorer is off. Velikesa Vosanganga goes on. Vinayak Rao has been pulled out in favor of Isimeli Gavindi and Petro Mai Valenisao will be the next one. He's just trying to get it confirmed. So Rao and Gavindi. And now Mai Valenisao is off. And Wati Soni Bati Rerenga is on for Fiji. So Bati Rerenga and Vosanganga, who started the game against Samoa, are going to start the game now in the second half against Tonga. Tonga kickoff. So three changes made by the Fijian coach Sunil Kumar. As uh, he knows that playing with 10 players the whole of the second half will be tough for Fiji. Fresh pair of legs. Keep the momentum going. That time, Dylan Shankar. The 
quick by Tonga. Viliami Muli. Tonga with Eteaki on that right edge. Now turnover ball and uh, will be Fiji with the throw on the other side. nil school line at half time see a lot of water on that side of the pitch that's what delayed the start of the game as the referee and uh, the OFC competitions manager had to go and check that part of the park and now a lot of water also on this side so splashing everywhere. Certainly would have spoken at halftime about uh, how they would approach this game with 10 players. They know with Ravonokula gone, he was toiling hard in the midfield for Fiji. And now they'll have to do some overtime in that area. Through ball is good. Opportunity here, and Fiji go 2 0 up. 10 men Fiji. Ibrahim Afzal, the Auckland, New Zealand bass player, wearing 10 for Fiji, has doubled Fiji's lead. Wonderful work. Fifth minute of play, second half. And a lovely through ball in between two defenders and Ibrahim Afzal, left foot shot. Wonderful, Fiji 2-0. Ibrahim Afzal. Goal for Fiji. Well, that will delight the Fijian coaching staff. It uh, has certainly brought some uh, delight for the Fijian fans. Tonga need to reset and refocus. That will inspire Fiji playing with 10 men. As they pick up the pace, Velikesa Vosanganga is the youngest man on the park for Fiji. The 15 year old wearing number 14 tried to get through there, but a tackle from Vili Tai. Fiji keeping the pressure on. Set piece corner. Mm -hmm. 
Isimeli Gavindi. Oh, the header. Oh, good work by the defense of Tong at that time. They scramble it out. Hola. Shankar. Hola again. Free kick. Tonga. Well, there were 16 fouls in the first half. And uh, already 3-4 fouls committed in the second half that one goes against VG Tonga have made a change also just pick that out and Siosia uh, Eteaki has gone off and in his place taking the field Isimoto Vayu now what a moment for Vayu he celebrates his 17th birthday tomorrow he's wearing number 5 for Tonga and he's got game time in the final group game of the OFC Under-17 Championship. That's the foul from Maloni Manuolevao as Fiji floating it inside the box. Swami laid that back. Tonga get up to that well. Fiji have got it again. Kumar. Kumar. Tonga put a toe in the middle there. Good work by the captain Naikar. Tonga get back. Moli. Sanganga Feeble shot from William Khan Free kick, Fiji. Shankar has it. A yellow card for the Fijian coach. Boy, drama. Now, here comes the change. So, Siosiwa Eteaki will now come off the field of play for Tonga. Going on is uh, number five. Isimoto Vayu. He will celebrate his birthday tomorrow in Suva. Tonga played up. Fiji at the back. Good work. touch Fiji difficult to move the ball on that part of the park as Afzal finds out what a goal he cracked in for Fiji after just five minutes in the second spell we are now 11 minutes into the second spell Tonga 
changing direction. Manu Olebao holding position in the tussle with the Fijian captain Naikar. Play on. Now Fiji look to find the opening. Oh, let's play on, no problem. Avzal hoping to uh, win the free kick this time. That's in the run, so uh, good refereeing. Ibrahim Afzal is okay. Well, I've just been informed that the Fijian coach, Sunil Kumar, is uh, celebrating his birthday today. So, a Fiji victory will be a great birthday gift for him. Touch the time by Richard Swamy. And he'll win the free kick for Fiji. Watching the replay as Fiji apply that pressure inside the box. Ibrahim Afzal. Set piece corner kick to come. Under siege now, Fiji, Aaron Naikar. A uh, card is coming out. Alex Holler. So Dylan Shankar is okay. And the yellow card for Alex Holler. Yellow card for Thomas, number 11, Alexander Holler. Shankar who won the free kick inside the box. It's Vaihu with the clearance. Felikesa <laughs> Vosanganga. Talia Uli for Tonga. Corner kick Fiji.
Ponga has come in. And they've played with uh, their body and a lot of power. Fijian boys have found it tough. Ibrahim Afzal. Looks good inside the box, but that's the Tongan defence that uh, clears it. Peleame Moli working well at the back for Tonga. Some attention for a Tongan defender. And that is the captain, Sione Taliauli. for those top two places. Nine teams started the dream for those two places. In about half an hour's time, there will be only eight remaining. And those eight dreams well, no. Who will battle who in quarterfinals action on Saturday and Sunday with the draw to be done at about 10 o'clock Fiji time? As Fiji applied the pressure, boy, boy, nearly lost that with uh, the challenge coming through there from uh, Fiji as Watisoni Mbati Rerenga. Oh, the whistle has gone. It will be. for Ishimoto Vayu. Yellow card for Thomas number five, Ishimoto Vayu. Fiji with a set piece free kick. Ibrahim Avzal still not a hundred. Sione Taliauli organizing his defense, the skipper, as Ibrahim Afzal gets ready to get things underway again. Fiji on attack. Seni Nawa Nawa goal in the first half. And uh, this man, Afzal, with the second goal for Fiji in the second half. Good work by the Tongan defence, but it comes for Prashan. Tongan defence, no that they've managed to weather the storm but the pressure still remains on the Tongan goal mouth corner kick to Fiji to come
Isimeli Gavindi. Hangs in there, good work by Moy Moy. Chatswami. this way it will be Fiji New Zealand Tahiti and New Caledonia as they got top four sides in that order they'll go in pot one and then Samoa with uh, Vanuatu, Tonga will also qualify along with the Cook Islands. So it'll be a big moment for the Cook Islands and Tonga. To make it into quarterfinals of the OFC Under-17 Championship 2023. Still a little over 20 minutes to play. The script will only change for one team, that is Tonga, if Fiji can score 11 more goals. to the drainage system at the HFC Bank Stadium. There's splashes of water all over the park and uh, with uh, no rain for the last 10, 15 minutes, you can see that uh, the surface is a little bit better now. Good run by Prashant Kumar. The flag is up. Tonga get the free kick. Filiami <laughs> Tai. Fijian skipper Aaron Naikar from Nandi. Win it, Swami. Freaking comes for Fiji. Fiji in defense, holding it at the back, building play from the back. 
Swamy. That play goes on. Good work by Nyker, the skipper. Molly, good skills. Tonga. Well, pick up for the throw. Six goals scored. Nine matches in the uh, OFC Under-17 Championship. As Fiji now get ready. For substitution. Third, uh, sorry, fourth change made by Fiji. Nirav Sharma goes in to replace uh, goal scorer Ibrahim Avzal. It's all about surviving here and being in the top eight. And then it'll be all to play for in do or die football on Saturday and Sunday in the quarterfinals. trying to apply the pressure and Tonga would be very happy with some 15 and a half minutes to play they've held Fiji out well a 2-0 scoreline so far will give much needed confidence to this Tongan side Swami. And the Fiji camp certainly know that it's all about uh, managing the bodies of the players, especially in this uh, torrid battle and another foul another free kick this torrid battle against Tonga it hasn't been easy and uh, Richard Swami clipped there in the tackle it's all about managing bodies it's all about keeping the players in the right frame of mind and uh, fitness because you have a tough quarterfinal and probably a harder semi-final to come 
the next two matches for the top eight teams will mean so much. Top eight and then the top four. Great goalkeeping, Moi Moi. Vayu at the end of that one as Fiji keep the pressure on. Here's Swami. Tonga win it away well. With the new draw coming through later tonight, it doesn't really matter. Fiji just needs a victory to be in the top four to be in that pot one and then the next four will be in pot two so the draw will be done with the team first team picked out of pot one and the next team picked out from pot two and that will be quarterfinal one and that's how they proceed with quarterfinal two three and four but if a match is drawn with uh, two teams from the same group, they will have to change that and it, uh, the second pot team will be pushed to the next match and uh, that's how they'll operate it. So we've got Aaron Niker, the captain, who will come off the field of play and Sahil Deo goes on for Fiji. Change number five done by the Fijian coach Sunil Kumar Veleame Moli. Bati Rerenga. Gavindi. Shankar has a good game, had a, has had a good game in defense for Fiji as Fiji now working on the right edge. Good work, Sahil Deo, first touch. Sonasi goes to the deck, wins the free kick for Tonga. Veleami Tai will take the kick for Tonga. Sanganga Tonga Ten minutes to play in normal time and Ten minutes separates both Fiji and Tonga from making it into the top eight and into the quarterfinals Sahil Deo Touch from Prashan didn't work. Tries to uh, get back there to win it. Will be a Tonga throw. Veliami <laughs> Moli. for Fiji as Fiji try and uh, work their way up. Tonga have won it again. Now Tai in the middle. Sonasi. Two nil 
Liverpool scoreline isn't uh, too safe. But the extra men that Tonga have got, they, they are not able to uh, put any pressure on the Fijian uh, defence. Gavindi. <laughs> Fiji dropping back Sahil Deo. Good. That time Tonga came through in the middle. Now Fiji on the right edge. Prashant Kumar. Sahil Deo changes direction. Fiji have some space on the left. Gavindi. Oh, wins it. Into the middle it comes. Prashant Kumar. Moli got the better of that. Now Fiji, Sahil Deo. Swami, opportunity here for Fiji. Great defense work by Sion Italia Uli, the captain. Richard Swami. Got through ball there. But Sion Italia Uli. Great tackle on what is only Batire Renga. Vosaganga penalized. Sione Taliauli. now but uh, Fiji closing that out well keeping it on the left edge and now the big pass up front Taliaoli in the tussle with Vosanganga free kick to Tonga Five minutes of normal time remains. Talia Uli in the tussle with Vosanganga and uh, Vosanganga of Fiji gets penalized in that, uh, tuss in that run and tussle for position. Vosanganga, good touch by him. Fiji control position. Sahil Deo. Shankar is at the back for BG. Elisoni Koro. Not tested today at all. Keeping his uh, sheet clean. No goals against Fiji in the championship so far. Surely make the Fijian coaching staff happy. But 
just looking at uh, the performance of teams across three pools, New Zealand certainly looks uh, the team to beat in this championship. So the big uh, Here's Tonga. Ah, good touch at the back there, but uh, still there for Tonga. And they fly it off the field of play. So I was saying it's New Zealand. You know, they look like the team to beat. And then you would, you would have to say that New Caledonia probably is the second side that uh, if you look at the way they've performed in the group stage and then Fiji and Tahiti Louis Muavesi knows they'll get past the first hurdle even with two losses they'll be in the quarterfinals. It's just a matter of time to know who they would play for Fiji. You know, the draw will mean so much of whether they get into the same half of the draw as New Zealand or whether they avoid New Zealand in the semi-finals uh, lineup that'll matter a lot Coro coming out of his mark well some good skills from Coro the crowd love it and getting back is uh, Tongan skipper Sione Taliaoli So into the final minute of play in normal time and Fiji have the set piece corner and they quickly take them. Oh, lovely header. Set piece corner. And the Fijians celebrate. Wonderful work. Prashant Kumar. Delivering a wonderful ball over the top. And the goal from William Khan. Fiji, 3-0. 90th minute goal from Khan. Ten men Fiji have scored two goals in the second half. It was a perfectly floated cross from Prashant Kumar and a slice of magic with a beautiful header from William Khan. William Khan gets his second goal of this championship. What a time to score as we go into added time and three minutes of added time will be played. Fiji leading 3-0 over Tonga. Dylan Shankar, the man wearing 11 with the ball at the moment, is the man of the match. A couple of minutes to play. William Khan, the goal scorer. And the 
Fiji side. Sini Nawanawa goal in the first half. Afzal and Khan goals in the second half. As Tonga look to uh, send in changes. Changes all over. 14 going in. Atieli Aho. Tevita Fale Papalangi going in. And Sione Taufa, the goalkeeper. So Mr. Moavesi makes changes and gives a three of his players a minute of game time. Vaihu with the throw. Teo. Sonasi. Tonga hold position. Moli. Oh, good skills. Moli. Still Moli. Four. And uh, as that happens, the referee says, We've seen 90 minutes of football. Full time in this one. Fiji beat Tonga. Three goals to nil. One nil at half time with a Sini Nawa Nawa goal. Fiji reduced to 10 players with uh, Salimone Ravodokula sent off in the dying seconds of the first half. But Fiji came through in the second spell. Five minutes into the second half, Ibrahim Afzal doubled Fiji's lead. And then, right on full time, 90th minute, it was William Khan. At the end of a lovely cross, heading in the third goal. Three nil at full time. Men of the match, Fiji's uh, Dylan Shankar. So this Fiji inside hands the Fijian coach Sunil Kumar a lovely birthday present. Happy birthday, Sunil Kumar! Congratulations to both teams for a hard fought game. Thank you all for coming along. Just a reminder that you can watch all of the action from the OFC Under-17 Championships 2023. That's our man of the match. Thanks once again and see you at the next game. Dylan Shankar. The man of the moment. Had a wonderful game in defense for Fiji. That's a lovely picture. Fiji in Tonga. The whole squad in the middle. And what a way to finish uh, group stage play in the OFC Under-17 Championship. This one played out 1-0 at halftime. And at full time, Fiji beating Tonga 3-0. Both teams into the quarterfinals.